hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is just point tv if you're coming across this channel for the first time you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so you'll be among the first to see my video whenever i upload and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for watching so guys um i have uh, brought a good news to you guys um consigning um oni and um the ongoing reconciliation by the odua elders guys um, a source is closed that uh, some of the elders have um, contacted uh, Prophetess Queen Naomi in a bid to reconcile their differences. And guys, I'm here, you know, to tell you guys that they, these people, these elders, they have really tried, guys. This thing is not something of today. This uh, reconciliation has been there for long, but now they come out again concerning it. You know, we have been saying that these people want to come back together. Oh, need to have, you know, making his own, his, uh, own effort too to see that Queen Naomi comes back. And I'm saying thank you to these elders for their effort, guys. Believe me, these elders, they are really pushing. They are really trying so hard. And guys, uh, to be honest, you see this uh, set of elders working hard to see that um, Queen Naomi and uh, Oni uh, reconcile. Honestly, I will tell you people that... Uh, they are the ones that truly, as in, uh, love to see Oni happy. In fact, they are the ones who truly sees and know the value of Queen Naomi, guys, in the palace. These people are not just fighting ordinarily to see that Queen Naomi return back. They have seen the impact. They have seen the, the, the kind of person she is. For them to be fighting for her to return back, to be with Oni again, guys, this thing is something that has been there since uh, Queen Naomi left. But now they have come out again in the full force, you know, trying their own best, even as uh, oh, Nitu is trying. They are all fighting to see that this thing is just resolved once and for all. So guys, uh, it was uh, revealed that uh, this set of elders uh, comprises the traditional rulers and the members of uh, e um, Elif, a community. And they are seriously having meeting on how they, um, they will go about the reconciliation. So you see guys, um, um, it's not just about, um, you know, uh, Queen Naomi fans alone, you know, saying that they want to see Queen Naomi and the Oni back together again. Look at how these elders are fighting. If Queen Naomi wasn't a good woman, would they be, you know, having having this series of meetings to make sure that they are back together? No. Queen Naomi is a good woman. That is why you see them coming out, you know, leaving their family, coming out um, every now and then to see that everything is resolved between them. They have truly seen the kind of heart this woman have and how good she is to Oni and uh, the palace at large. It's not just that Queen Naomi um, is uh, a prophetess or should I say because uh, she's from Elife. No, Queen Naomi is an extraordinary woman. Looking at her, she is just one woman with so many, um, should I say gifts or should I say so many qualities in one person. She's just too much. They know what they are fighting for. They can't just be fighting for her return for nothing. Guys, let me tell you people. You see, they have seen that Queen Naomi is a good-hearted, pure-hearted woman. Loyal and uh, faithful to Oni, guys. And uh, it was gathered that um, um, since Queen Naomi left, they have all been, uh, you know, they have been in a bad mood because uh, uh, what they had that might have caused the divorce is still uh, something that could be reconciled. They never saw it like something that is big deal to them. They see it as a minor thing and that is why they, you know, they are not happy. And um, it was said um, that um, the separation between Oni and uh, his ex-wives uh, it's not spiritual at all that there is no any sign of spiritual cause or something because you know people are already saying that uh, Oni has a problem maybe it's a spiritual something that there's nothing like that that is just uh, you know a, a lack of uh, uh, understanding between uh, couples that it's not something that uh, cannot be resolved that sometimes it could be the immaturity from one of the parties involved that could lead to the divorce that is not just a uh, um you know saying spirituality everything is not spiritual most of these things that happen is um um just mere under uh, misunderstanding and guys um another reason why 
you know, they are also fighting for Queen Naomi to come back. It's because, you know, they are already seeing it as a disgrace, as a shame, you know, uh, only just being enthroned uh, how many years ago, but uh, none of the official wife is living with him, is there with him in the palace. That is like a disgrace. Or should I say that it's something that uh, has never been done in the history of uh, Elife, a queen just leaving the king overnight. First one come and go, second one go, third one come and go. That is somehow, and that's, that is why they are so desperate to reunite them again, guys. So you see, that's why I always say that it's always good to be good. If Queen Naomi was a bad person or Queen Naomi was an, as you know, any hard woman, these people will not even, uh, in fact, they will just be singing hallelujah that Queen Naomi has left the palace. But because she's a good person, but because of they have seen the kind of person she is, how pure this woman is, that is why you see them uh, struggling for her to come back. So guys, um, this is the current happening and uh, I said let me share it with you guys and I'm happy to share it with you guys. Honestly guys, um, the fans of this uh, couple will be so happy to see them together, including me, you know, talking here. I'll be happy to see them together again because um, um, Queen Naomi had ever shown the highest quality of respect to the king throughout her stay in the palace. We all saw it, guys. And again, this is my own opinion here. Those elderly women that fill that palace, those elderly uh, Elife women that, they are, that are there in the palace, they should, you know, be praying for uh, peace of mind of uh, His Royal Highness, uh, Ade Yangunsi, so that he can have peace in his reign, guys. Because this, uh, you know, being a monarch, being... A number one you know citizen in Yoruba kingdom it's not a base and this king is still very young so they have a, a whole lot of work to do so that the king can uh, have a stable home so guys uh, I think this will bring me to the end of this my um uh, video please um feel free to put down your comments concerning this my um video down the comment section below you know say whatever your own opinion is to it if it's good that the others are you know um uh, fighting for uh, queen naomi to be back to the palace or is that you guys want queen naomi not to come back to the palace and um please feel free to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that anytime i have any updates you'll be among the first to be notified Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Bye-bye.